Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. This time we are looking at Yahtzee Jr. This version is the Mickey for Kids version. It's aimed at ages 4 to 6, put out by Milton Bradley in 1998. Two to four players, and inside we've got a scoreboard, dice cup, five dice, 20 tokens, and there used to be a label sheet that was for the stickers for the dice. So let's open it up and take a look at what we've got. This box is pretty banged up. That's pretty common with stuff aimed at real little kids. But be aware of that if you're buying it used, which you probably will be. So we've got our cup with dice. Under the insert here, we've got our rule sheet and our scoreboard and our tokens. So the rule sheet is in color, which is nice. I, I like it when they're in color. It's decent paper. It's uh, actually just heavy bond printer paper from what I can tell, but the fact that it's in color is a big bonus. It's a pretty simple game. Not really complex because it is aimed at younger people. Now our scoreboard, Mini, Pluto, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, and one through five so that's going to apply to the dice of course so let's take a look at the dice and the tokens and we'll get a better idea of what pieces you're supposed to have okay so as you can see i'm missing one piece i'm missing the green pluto but there are supposed to be 20 of these five of each color so five yellow five green five red five blue one for each character. Now it's pretty easy to come up with a way to create a token representation of that, but if you're a completionist, you're gonna want that piece to be here so you have the complete set. Unfortunately, I thought this was a complete set, so my, my fault for not double checking. These are two-sided, so the same image appears on the back as it does on the front. So they do have a copyright Disney on all of them too. So a little controlling about that. But they are nice quality. They are good thickness. Unfortunately, because this is aimed at a much younger audience, they are probably going to get torn up a little bit. This one's all bent up, which is obviously a problem. If you want this in very nice condition, you might have to buy two sets to put them together to get one nice set. Now, as far as the cup goes, this is actually really nice. This is plastic. It's a nice quality plastic too. Good thickness. So it'll hold up really well. It's got the copyright 1998 Hasbro on the bottom. Made in the USA. It's really, really sturdy. It's one of the best ones of the dice rolling cups that I've seen put out in the last... I don't even know. This is probably one of the best I've ever seen for these type of games. So there's that. And then we have five dice. And if you bought it used, you probably already have the dice with the stickers on them. So you'll want to check and make sure that the stickers are in good shape and that they are all there. So there should be one of each character on there. So let's see if I can... they're not going to be lined up like regular dice typically. But these might actually be. So an adult might have put these on. Alright, so we've got Mickey Mouse, who's actually not in any of the pieces, he's just on the dice and on the board. And then we've got Goofy, and then we have Daisy Duck, there's random hair in there, there's Minnie, and then we're back to Mickey, and off to Mickey's right we have Pluto. And across from Pluto, we have Donald. So the stickers are reasonably decently held up, I guess, over time. But if they're slightly off center because of the way that these are depressed and the sticker is put on, if it's slightly off center, that sticker is going to come off. So you want to inspect the dice very carefully to make sure that the stickers are all still adhered very well and they have an idea of 
how it should look. As far as how they roll, these are very big. So of course they're going in the cup, but they probably roll just fine. Uh, they are fairly sturdy dice. They are reasonably good size. They're probably too big for your average kid to just goof off with. So having the cup is essential so that you can roll them the way Yahtzee is meant to be played. All right, and that's it for the 1998 Yahtzee Junior game with Mickey for kids with the, the Disney characters from Milton Bradley, ages four to six, two to four players. It's a nice little set. If you're a big Disney fan, you'll definitely want to add this to your collection. And if you see it for sale real cheap at a garage sale or swap meet or flea market or whatever, and you've got kids in this age range, they'll probably be okay with playing it. Uh, most kids don't mind the Disney characters, but Yahtzee isn't typically something they're really into. But if you can find it complete, I would say it's definitely one of the better versions of Yahtzee just because it's a little more colorful and I find regular Yahtzee to be kind of boring. So this will spice it up just a little bit, which might be enough to get the kids to play it instead of on their phones or on your phone. So that being said, a uh, pretty decent little set. But that's just my take on it. We've seen what's in the box. You've heard my opinion. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description and on the about page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.